Hey everybody, this is Zeminon, joined by Jetman99, bringing you the Lonely Draft League's Showdown League Finals for this season between Wivali and the Seattle Pre-Mariners, or Pre-Mariners, like the Seattle Mariners, versus Quantum and the Enchid and Shede. We don't know how to say that town. Sorry about that, Quantum. Uh, the Ponitas. So we'll call them the Ponitas. So uh, Jerry and I are going to cast this match. These guys are the finals in the showdown division in the LDL. Uh, they're looking ready to start. I believe Jetman, both these people, both these trains are going to get moved up to, or are they, are either of them moving up to no, the, um, the D-Max next year or no? No, they will not be because the D-Max, because the D-Max will stay as a uh, Wi-Fi. Oh, okay, cool. So this is, there's only one person gets to be a winner today yes. instead of both of them moving up. So that, that adds even more pressure to this. Okay. So I think they can start now. We're going to let them know. Um, so if you look at their teams, obviously there's a, there's some some nice like defensive Pokemon you have on uh, on Poplio's side, which Poplio is also Quantum, so we'll refer to him either way. Just like the uh, like the Hippowdon and the Melmetal and the Clefable, and then there's some more offensive threats over on Wivali's side with Nidoking and Dragapult and then Infernape potentially Necrozma can can be offensive or defensive depending. On, on the type of set here so just like looking at this at the start here like who do you who do you like uh that's a tough one see uh see i would say personally myself i prefer to start off with a fast u-turn uh fast u-turner of what switcher so i would say that i would lead uh dragapult but well uh, instead it's opposite but i know that both of these guys have opted for bulkier teams Hence with the Malmetal, Clef, Arias, Pipout on Corsola G, and then uh, we're going going with the Necrozma, Sloking, and Diancy. So it'll so it should be a good match to see. And now this Hippowdon obviously wanted to come out here and set set Stealth Rocks on turn one. Yes. Um, you're gonna have to worry though because Slow King, Slow King can get pretty offensive. So would you want to really trade Stealth, Stealth Rocks for taking a a Scald and potentially even worse, getting getting yes. burned from that Scald? I don't know if that's really really worth it. Uh, unless the Hippowdon has rest, then it's a possible chance. So I think right. it depends on the setting because if the Hippowdon has rest, I would possibly risk the Stealth Rock turn one. But in saying that, uh, am I right in saying that Webley doesn't have any removal? I, I was actually just checking his Pokemon to see that. I don't believe he has removal. Yeah. So yeah. So I would feel confident enough to uh, to actually self block turn one if I had rest on the hippo. But I guess there's only one more. He decides to swap out instead. And Toxic from the Slow King onto the Latias switching in. So that's going to be a problem for the Latias if there's no uh, Heal Bell on on Poplio's side of the field because this Toxic is going to start adding up over time. Uh, I would I would assume that Latias might have might have been trying to like set up or something, but instead he'll actually just Toxic the Slow King back. And now Dragapult switching in for free here. This might be one of those free turns where you U-turn because it doesn't even matter because you either hit Latias super effectively or you get the switching priority if the Latias switches out. Yes. And that is what Clefable goes for, uh, the, the switch in there, but a substitute from Dragapult. So uh, a nice reveal out of Wavali early on here that he is substitute Will-O-Wisp onto the Clefable. This Moonblast will obviously take out the uh, take out the substitute, though. And Clefable does take, uh, yeah. does take the burn damage there, so that means it is not Magic Guard. That would assume that it would be unaware in this in this situation. Yeah, so I think he was probably suspecting a. See, uh, he was probably suspecting the weakness policy in the Krosma set to maybe come, or even like a Swords Dancing in in Inferno. Oh, disable from the uh, the Dragapult, but it actually missed because Clefable switched out there into the Sylvalley, who it is Sylvalley Dark. 
Papio opting for the dark type Sylvali here, so it can actually be a a threat to this this Dragapult, who's a ghost type. So uh, that was a, a I guess a, a smart switch from from Papio there, avoiding the disable. So we now know that Dragapult has three non-attacking moves, meaning it only has room for one dragon attack or one ghost attack or like say U-turn. So this is really not too big of a threat i would i would say on wavali's side no because my only question is how does the dragon bolt answer answer to the clef because if because if the clef has recovery then the then the will o wisp is doing nothing right so uh the dragon bolt will switch out though into in into infernape and that multi-attack is going to be not very effective since it's a dark type into the fighting type on infernape so now Infernape, this is also going to be a big reveal that uh, Papio needs to figure out what type of set this Infernape is running. Is it like a utility set? Is it set up on Infernape? Is it just like all out offensive life orb? Is it is it choice scarf? I don't think it would be since he just used toxic again, but the Latio switched in there. So uh, definitely Infernape is feeling threatened by this Latios who naturally outspeeds it here. It can go for like a Psychic or Psy Shock or, or anything else it wants. So this could actually be a free Toxic for Latias. It could, but uh, would the Slow King opt to switch in to stop that free Toxic? True. You could do that because that would be resistant he's already Toxic. Yeah. So. so it comes down to the fact of whether or not Latias has coverage or if it's just a bulky roost uh, i think ladias will uh, i think ladias may also get refresh as well so it could so it could potentially heal its own toxic if he has bought that tech but i do know that both right it all it all depends here yeah but i do know that both these players like their bulky slow playing teams so we are in for a long match here ladies and gents we are <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm okay with it at this point so as long as so as long as so as long as I like to play a cup and it goes for sixty minutes, I'll be happy. Yeah. So uh, a double switch from from both trainers here. Clefable going in for Latias and then Slow King predicting that it's toxic there. Heal Bell from Clefable though, so he does have a way to to cure his teammates and future sight from slow king which is obviously going to be a a pretty strong attack uh in a couple turns when it actually hits there so papio was correct predicting that slow king would come in to try to eat the toxic yes uh, see future sight i love i love the move but it but my only the main problem with it is it, uh, that if your opponent has a dark type alive you'd need to then play around and try and maybe swap in your Diancy or your Infernape. Which the teleport will actually help here, I, I, I would presume. Teleporting into the Nido King, obviously poison type wouldn't or would be pretty strong against the Clefable, but Nido King has such good coverage. That's why it's so consistently good in uh in draft league formats because there's so many different moves. You can go for an ice beam onto the Apowdon or the Latias, or you know, he can go for Earth Power into the Mel Metal. It really, really depends. We haven't seen what this Nido King can do. Also has the option to set up its own Stealth Rocks if Weavali would like. But instead, opting for the Toxic Spikes instead. And that Future Sight gets tanked by the Latias switching. And thanks to the Wish from the previous turn, it's like it never even happened. Latias does have... Have defog though, which is something Wavali's team does not have, which is removal. Uh, so he's going to need to rely on Latias defogging things away. Uh, but for yeah, so actually the hazards play might not be the best for a Wavali here. No, because uh, looking at it now, because you have the Savelli and Latias, the Latias, they had the potential to defog here. So I'm actually surprised that Quantum did not bring his own hazard hazard stacking here. To be honest. Right, yeah, because there's nothing that Wavali would be able to get to get rid of it. So as long as you keep the hazards off your side, yeah, you don't really need to defog anything away. Um, and instead, this teleport will bring the Nido King in, which is pretty much one of the Pokemon that Melmetal does not want to face, as it can hit it on its uh, lower special defense stat with like a, a super strong Earth Power or something. 
Um, it would probably be able to take the hit from Nido King, especially if it's an assault vest Mel Metal, which is pretty common. Uh, but you'd be trading so much of your damage that you might as well take nothing by using your Levitator and Latias. Yeah. So one thing I will also add. So uh, in the first two rounds of playoffs, uh, Quantum actually beat Shy and JJ, which are both two good friends of Weberly in real life, and he beat them both 5-0. So... You oh wow could, so you could almost add that this match for web is kind of a grudge match for him and it's like an anime where yeah. it's like anime where the villain beats like the main character's friends the first couple yeah. times and then now it's the main character's time to step in and, and you know, get revenge for his friends yeah but to add something to that also in in week nine when they faced off quantum beat weberly 5-0 Ooh. so yeah this is gonna be. Yeah. I love the I love the drama that you're yeah. you're you're giving out here, you're adding adding to the stakes. Obviously, we already have an LDL championship on the line, so it's already yeah. you know high stakes. But you're adding this like these you know these these dramatic turns for it. And there's the Stealth Rocks from Mega Dancy as he decides to Mega Evolve here to become a little less tanky and a, a lot more offensive and a lot faster against this Corsola. So I, I wonder what I wonder what Corsola's idea here. Is going to be is it just like a will wisp or is it like you know trying to trying to, to do something else because obviously he brought it for a reason so we're going to find out yeah well looking here now so so the teams haven't changed much uh so webley so webley changed out so webley brought in slow king for viker vault from last game and then you had quantum or mlg poplio at swap out moltres for the for the savelli dark so I, so I, so I would. Oh, Hydro Pump missed on Corsola. Yeah. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have had stab. So I don't think it would have, uh, would have knocked out there. Yeah. But that definitely is frustrating for for Poplio to miss the Hydro Pump because that would have done a lot of dab damage. Hundred percent there. Quickly. Trying to wonder what the also what's his like game plan with. DNC here just like sticking in and going for diamond storms maybe trying to get the uh trying to get the buff off of of diamond storm and eventually get to a point where DNC sweeps because that might be his uh his best like win condition is if the DNC gets out of control and and things really can't keep up with it yes for sure exactly uh and even looking here so the hydro pump would have done uh 42 to 50 percent roughly so yeah, so so it would have done some nasty damage. Do it, oh, swap out, okay. Mel Metal and Slow King switching in, and then a, a fast lock in for the substitute on Mel Metal. So now Mel Metal has actually gotten a, a safe turn here behind its substitute, where Weavali is going to have to take another turn to just hit the substitute. The Mel Metal can actually go for like a a, a heavy iron bash or maybe you know whatever type of uh like uh iron defense into body press something like that that can keep it safe here so that was a really smart substitute yeah I, yeah i would even add here that uh the mild metal would have coverage for most of the team here such as uh the double iron bash for the diancy uh for the dragon pot also then he could also include something such as an eq to cover the nader king and infernate and then just a dark type move to try and counter the slow king and then necrozma or even a bug type move as well so, right and even like thun thunder punch too like i've used well. i've used mel metal a couple times and thunder punch for for bulky waters can can be effective but i think i think infernape definitely has to be afraid of of an earthquake right now i feel like earthquake is like always a given on uh on melmetal because there's so many fire types that want to deal with melmetal when, once it gets on the field so uh i don't know if there's really a safe way for infernape to break this substitute without knocking itself out because it's it, even if it was focus ash obviously he doesn't have that intact anymore mm -hmm. and then unless he's shukaberry i guess i don't even know if that would actually <laughs> save him in in this point so the uh, Poplio has put himself in a really strong position to potentially claim a knockout here. Yes, exactly. Uh, and looking here now, let's go for the, the Sugar to the Infernape. And uh, 
yes, it, it's doing 58 to 68 percent the EQ with a shot okay. on the Inferno. But I would be in saying that the Inferno has leftovers, so it does not have the sugar berry at all. Oh, that's right. We saw it. Yeah, that's yes. right. As it switched in last so, turn, it recovered off leftovers. Yeah, so. so I would almost even add the Infernape is going to trade a sub for a kill or, or, mm -hmm. or death. Or I would even add he's going to try and go for a U-turn and probably swap into his Slow King and try and see what the next move is for it. And then, yeah, and then and then just try and do something with it. Because I highly doubt that Weverly would, would want the Infernape going down this easily with a, with a Malmetal and a Sabelli Dark still alive. Yeah, and I think that's what um I think that's what Uvali is kind of is like wavering over right now is does he opt to trade his Infernape and go down six five in order to get rid of the substitute? Um because one thing if he does stack Infernape here, he doesn't have to worry about like buyer uh body like iron press body uh, or iron defense body press stuff because he can't be assault vest Ooh. because he showed substitute, but he went for the double double iron bash Ooh. instead of earthquake. Infernape just barely lives, even with the minus one defense, so that there was still like a resisted attack. It only did like maybe 85% or something like that. And now yeah. all the priority goes back towards Weavali there. That was huge. Like the, the only question I have, Jetman, is does Melmetal, does he either not have EQ or did he over predict there? Yeah. Like, but, but in saying that, but in that position, why uh, why would you over predict? Uh, EQ hits everything on the field. So it is a there's no game. levitate. Exactly. That, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like he might not have earthquake. Yeah. Uh, oh, if he doesn't have earth, if if he doesn't have earthquake, that is a bad bring in my opinion, due to the fact that he has three mons on the other team that are super effective to it. Right. And those are definitely like, and some of those are Pokemon that would want to deal with the Melmetal, which is why he would, you know, have the substitute so he can handle it. But uh, instead, this Dragapult is going to Will-O-Wisp on the Silvalli and go for a substitute. U-turn, though, because of that burn, really not going to do a lot. Would have been, you know, I pro probably wouldn't even broke the substitute anyway, even if he wasn't burned, yeah. unfortunately, for Silvalli there. So now Wavali has kind of, like, switched it around to put them in the in the the better position behind sub. He can go for another will is here or a disable we still haven't see, or actually we just saw its last move then substitute yeah, uh substitute and hex, hex is so oh that's the set will you know, and hex that's cool so you know exactly what he's doing so he's just so he's done the same thing that uh so he's done the same thing that uh lacy ghost did to did to the blazing squid in week one of ldl g max Oh yeah, it's definitely. Don't let like, don't let Squid forget. All right. No, we can't. We can't. <laughs> <laughs> he got six out by that thing. And it. Uh, oh, but Willis missing on Clefable and the Wish will work off. So whatever, uh, whatever switches in here is going to go back up to full HP. And I think Wavali obviously just goes for Willis again onto. Uh, whatever comes here, but uh, looking at Poplio's side, he doesn't have a normal type that would actually be immune to these hex shenanigans. So no. obviously, Silvalli not being normal type anymore, that means like probably Clefable and Silvalli are its best answers to Dragapult right now, as they uh, aren't too worried about it. But something like the Corsola or like the Latias, they really don't want to take a hex. Yep, uh, I would even bet that right now the Clefable is going to go for a heal bell, knowing uh, knowing the fact that if Dragobot goes for a, goes for a Will O Wisp, he can heal with the heal bell, and if the if if the Dragobot goes for a disable, then Clefable still gets the wish damage back. So I would even add that heal bell is possibly the safest play here, because it, it could also be Moonblast though to break the sub. It could also, yeah. So we've seen because he can't disable Moonblast yet. He ha he would then have to wait until next turn, which he can then set up substitute again. Yes, true. So well, so luckily for Poplio, he's been able he was able to heal Bell the the burn off of Silvalli this turn. So like if I'm just I'm just talking out loud yeah. here, if this turn Clefable Moonblast breaks the Dragapult sub. And even if he burns Clefable, that's fine. He can always heal Bell it later off because he's going to get the wish. So he'll back up. He'll be back up to like ninety 
two percent hp or whatever yeah. so then the next turn dragapult has to decide am i going to disable to stop the moon blast or am i going to sub again so no matter what he can then switch Silvalian in safely in that spot you get what i'm saying yeah, i do yes yes so i feel like that they're so i feel like that they're at an old western standoff right now just waiting, yeah. just, just, just waiting to see who who will make the first shot here. Yeah, I definitely like the the dynamic we had where a couple turns ago the the Mel Metal was the threat behind sub, and then now we switched it around, and now Dragapult is the issue behind substitute. Yes. So I like that our 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 trainers are really like they're thinking alike in their their thought process for like their win conditions for for this finals match. Ladias switching in to that slot. Will Wisp onto it though. Will connect, but Wish is going to bring it back up to like to back up to 100 percent and then back down to 94 after the recoil. But that did not get rid of Dragapult's substitute. And we know that one Dragapult's faster than Ladias, unless it's scarfed, uh, which it isn't because it's leftovers, yeah. right? Um, so it's so Dragapult is faster. It Ladias has been burned, so he's just gonna hex it this turn Ooh, and actually Holly with the prediction going for will wisp instead of a hex what a huge turn Ooh. now effectively this fable has to switch in on this turn and eat a will wisp into a um into an a hex so that way he can get rid of all of these burns on on his side this is just this will Wavali's we'll, playing perfectly on dragapult right now behind sub yes yes so my only addition is how does dragapult beat the clefable that is my only problem. Ooh, Silvalli, that was gutsy. Sticking in with the multi-attack, getting rid of the substitute, bringing Silvalli down to 34% HP. So now it's really low. It doesn't It doesn't have the availability to just keep switching in and out like this. Substitute from nice. so, uh, from the Dragapult and rest on Silvalli. Uh, so that's one way to get your HP back up. And now if you switch into Clefable, you'd be able to, to get rid of that that sleep right i guess that would be uh kind of the the synergy between those two pokemon yes exactly uh so i'm really unsure of how 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 each team beats each other at this point wait hold on dragable just switched out with his substitute still intact into the infernape living on five hp so now this infernape is going to want to do some damage as it it can't even switch back onto the field safely anymore since it's so low hp latias the obvious switch in for Poplio as it is just barely a little bit faster then Infernape can go for a Psychic Attack. And uh, what does the Infernape even want to do here? It's at 12%. Maybe you switch back out into the Slow King. But D5 from Latias. And the U-turn Latias takes 44% for no reason because it went for the Defog instead of, instead of claiming a KO on that. In Dragapult switches back in. Dragapult can freely either hex or or substitute this turn. And Latias really can't respond to that. I think... I, I wonder the decision behind the defog. I feel like once you dealt with the Infernape, you could defog later. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Uh, because I've uh, been saying that, but then the Dragon Ball comes in and then it, and then it, and then essentially has a free hex. But in saying that, the rocks are away, the Infernape is still alive, and now the and now the Dragon Ball's in at, for for a free hex. So right or a free substitute this turn and then it can start recovering up from leftovers yes that is true also because papio is going to have to keep switching around so from the ladias we've seen defog and what else, what else have we seen from the from the ladias uh defog toxic and psychic so it still has yeah. one last move could be draco could be could be refresh could be calm mind i actually don't even know what it what it has yeah Thunderbolt for Slow King, maybe. This, yeah, I think I think the Dragapult's just in a really good good spot here. Uh, so Valley gonna have to switch in onto the Will Wisp, but because it was asleep, he actually can't be can't be burned. So it was, uh, so Valley being lucky that he was asleep on <laughs> on that turn. Um, and Dragapult, I, yeah, go ahead. But the Savali still has another two turns of rest. I'm pretty sure because I think the sleep can uh, reset with rest as soon as you swap out okay i might be wrong so he can't even wake up this turn so what 
would Dragon Bolt just have the free substitute, right? Yep. So yes. now he's behind a sub for free. Sleep talk. Get Sleep them. talk. That's how he gets around it. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. That's. I am in. I'm in love with this Sil Valley set, honestly. Yes. Uh, so we've seen we've seen all four moves now: multi attack, U turn, rest, and sleep talk with the dark types of value. This this Pokemon was literally brought to be the anti Dragapult Pokemon. I I love the idea behind this set. Yes, and I will also add that I was wrong. The sleep does not reset. They must they must have changed that mechanic over 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 Gen Seven and Gen Eight. So Deancey or Mega Deancey will switch in on that on that turn and really not take too much damage from the multi attack. Now Savali is going to have to switch out here because it doesn't want to eat a Moon Blast from oh, yeah. Deancey. So the question is, does Deancey want to go for like the safe Stealth Rock? Does it want to, Earth you know, power. try to go for Moon Blast or try to get try to get a defense boost from from Diamond Storm? The mm -hmm. the world is really Deancey's oyster right now. Actually, it decides to switch out, calling a prediction. On a switch there, and they both do switches to Nido King and, and uh, Galarian Corsola. This is tough here because I'm unsure what, what's going to happen because they're 36 turns in, still 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> yeah, and, man. And, and, and in saying that, uh, most of their team is relatively at, at full health, apart from the Infernape, which is uh, like 12%. There's just so much... There's so much on the line right now for both of them. You got the championship in the showdown league for the LDL. You got the revenge story where Wavali's trying to get, you know, revenge from losing 5-0 earlier this season. There's yeah. just a lot of decisions behind – a lot of time needs to be processed behind all these decisions. That sludge wave was maybe predicting a switch. Uh, did not do a lot there. And then Hydro Pump we saw, it did 40, 41% onto the Nido King. So that's actually not even a two hit knockout. So Nido King is is pretty safe to stay in here for another turn. Unless if it gets, wants um, to. Unless he crits. <laughs> yes. Oh uh, true. Well yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you can live your life glass half empty like that, Jet Man. You know what I mean? I mean like I mean I mean if you're facing me, you're always bound to get a crit at least once. <laughs> <laughs> so it, okay, it can, that's fair. It can happen. But uh Well but, luckily, luckily they're not facing you. They're, you're just casting over it. Hopefully, I don't give them my bad juju. <laughs> so, I would even opt that the Hippowder will come in here and hopefully try and get up his own rocks for free. Because I would say that that's right. the safe bet if the, if the Nido King is not going to swap out. Because as soon as he gets up those yeah. rocks, that, uh, that Infernape just becomes a sack. Exactly. Yeah, and it's not like confront or it's not like Hepaudon really cares about Sludge Wave, right? So uh, obviously he can't get poison from it because of sheer force on the the Neo King. So there's no chance of getting of getting poison. So it'll take a little bit of damage on it if Neo King does stay in and go for the Sludge Wave, and he'll get those Stealth Rocks up, and then they're they're there forever. And then maybe you, if uh, we if Wavali ever gets hazards on Poplio's side, he'll just wait until Infernape gets knocked out from the stealth rocks to uh to ha to defog them away um but yeah our players are certainly taking <laughs> taking a lot of time to figure out what what they want to do here yes sure and ooh Corsola also has rest, so this uh, this set that was already long is we're in for an even longer yeah. set because <laughs> so Valley and Corsola both have rest, sleep talk. Oh my god! And do you want to make a bet that Hippowdon also has rest? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. That's his like signature <laughs> signature move there for hey, for Hippowdon. I mean, I mean, I mean, with the talk pregame, Quantum is sleeping on Web, so. So we won't <laughs> about that. Oh man, Dragapult does get a substitute up as Savali switches in and will have the the poison. But once Savali gets low, he can actually um he can just rest back up to full HP and get rid of that poison because the sleep would would override it. So right now, I feel like this is a pretty safe multi attack out of Silvalli. Wouldn't wouldn't you agree? Just to get rid of the sub. Yes, exactly. Yes, for sure. So, yeah, and then yeah. we're just still at a stalemate after that, because then it's like, all right, well, I'll just yep. sub again, and you're just poison. Yep, uh, in saying that, uh, so, ooh, 
So I don't think Paladin's gonna go for stealth rocks until maybe the Latias is dead. Because uh because then it means that the because then it means that he can't debug away his his own rocks. Right, true. Uh Clefable does switch in though and heal bells everybody. Uh will wish on this turn, obviously. Heck if it has if it has protect, okay. So last turn, this is where Clefable has to figure out: Does he stay in here if he has protect? Obviously, yes. if he doesn't, Hex did forty three percent last time, and Clefable's at forty one. So is yes. that a damage roll? Is that a high roll? Is that a low roll? Yeah. That's what that's what Papio is definitely like calking right now to figure out. We've transferred up to a few turns prior, prior where they were facing up. So let's take a sip of little drag bug. Okay, so the Clef. Fable without a uh, status alignment, uh, the hex did 21%. So I would even add that it is not, but there's the protect, right? So, yes, it didn't even matter, yeah. So, but you can see on uh, on turn 41 when he was burned, yes, it did or when he was poisoned on the switching from toxic spikes, hex yes. did 43%. Yes, but he went for the willow there, he opted to go for the willow. So, I would, so what other class four moves we have, uh, protect. Hill Bell Wish. Have and Moonblast. He Moonblast. clicked Moonblast once yeah. on, uh, I believe, Infernape, like super long ago. I can't remember who he clicked Moonblast on, but we know he did. So those are Clefable's four moves here. Hex did 51% that time. So the 43 was definitely a low roll. And this Clefable's in a really a really scary spot. He ha obviously has to protect here. And there's nothing that Dragon Ball can really do to stop it. Disable. Oh, except disable. That would be. That's good. actually really good for for Dragonfall. He can either disable the protect or disable the wish. Yeah. So would he? Would he disable now? And then go for a and then go for a and then go for Willow the turn after. Because I think you got to switch Clefable out. Yes. You can't let the protect get disabled. Exactly. Didn't know if that went through protect or not. Uh, I will answer. Oh, that's what, so Wavali was, was checking to see if, uh, if Disable goes through Protect, which it does not. Um, it actually, Protect stops the Disable's effect or whatever. So, I guess Wavali trying to just check the, um, ch check the game mechanics in the middle of finals, you know, no big deal. So, at this point, I think... I think Clefable has to to switch out here. Um, this is probably probably a free Will O Wisp into somebody else on the team, but no, he actually leaves his substitute again, and Clefable gets rewarded for it because he went for the wish on that turn. That's a that was a very gutsy play out of Poplio to stay in on uh, on that potential hex from Dragapult. Jeez, but did it. The, the misreads and misplays on, on both sides here. <laughs> it just oh, I'm lucky. I I am lucky that it that it is early in, in the morning for me because I'd be so tired right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the uh, I'm in the evening for me, and I'm I'm totally I'm totally fine right now. But once we hit like turn 143, I don't know if I'll be as excited for yeah. <laughs> for for this match. Yeah. So can so can I add as the commissioner of LDL to 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 just, to just both give them the win? Does that work? No, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think that's what the I don't think that's what the viewers are here for, Jetman. I think they want a decisive victory. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, if, I mean, if they if they if they haven't skipped past this point in the video, respect, <laughs> respect. <laughs> Yeah, right? If they see it's a two-hour-long video, uh, you know, maybe they did skip around a little bit. I was yeah. just, just saying. Yeah, uh, but on that I'm not, I'm not here for I'm not here for a good time. I'm here for a long time, Jet Ah, uh, yes. A uh, good old Tinder line. Yes. <laughs> okay, but the cursed body there actually disabled the sludge wave. So it's coming to effect right there. <laughs> 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 okay okay uh, so i will add so the chat isn't isn't visible to the viewers so oh okay yeah so a good friend of uh web has just said uh 
has just said that he will be back in 30 minutes <laughs> when the game isn't isn't boring. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, uh, this, uh, so so my prediction is that once a mod goes down, it's just gonna go down from there. Like it's gonna be like it's gonna be a landslide essentially. Okay. Yeah, I can I can see that. I know I know that Nido King can take one more hydro pump if there's no crit, but he decides not to stay in there. So he probably doesn't have anything that deals very well with Corsola um, to hit it since the Sludge Wave was disabled. But now we're back to the Dragapult and Latias, which is going to be a free substitute for for the Dragapult as Latias has to switch out because he can't because Latias. I know Papio has been rewarded for some pretty gutsy plays so far, but you can't take the risk that Dragapult actually clicks Hex this turn instead of Will for substitute. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I will also add some background information. So the last match that occurred in week nine between these two ended in 58 turns. So there is a chance that the match can still end <laughs> within five minutes. <laughs> but, uh... Or... Or this this match will be longer before they even get one knockout than the entire last one. No, he did stay in off the hex, and Gladius actually hangs on at six HP and defogs away the toxic spikes. Oh my God, Poplio has the <laughs> the biggest guts I've ever seen staying in on so many turns where he shouldn't, and he gets rewarded for it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a match. <laughs> we we so have now, a match. So Tune in. now, Weavali's getting his win condition down of he needs Latios gone. So that way yeah. these Toxic Spikes and Stealth Rocks can stick on the field. Now, on the, on the other end, Poplio needs Infernape gone, or at I guess at some point, maybe you can also say Slowking because he's kind of annoying. He needs that combination dealt with so that that way the Melmetal, uh, Melmetal can sweep. So we're both Infernape and Latias are at like 12% at this moment. So we're very close to breaking this game open. Yes, exactly. And I, sh I should... Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So uh, so I will add that, that the Dragon Pult and Malmodel were both teams' first pick respectively. Down goes the Infernape right there. Oh, he had, he had to sack it at that. At that point, so uh, here we are. Stop the clock, everybody. Turn 51, there has been a knockout taken in this battle. Now the Mega DNC switches in uh, after Infernape sacked itself. So I guess the best win condition for Wivali dealing with, with Poplio's Melmetal is either Will-Wisp from... Dragapult or maybe like Scald Burns or also that Nido King with Earth Power would, would be hitting it pretty pretty strongly. Yes. Oh, she opts out the Mum Metal and Stealth Rock comes out. So oh, what percentage is the Latias on actually? I 13%. believe it was twelve. It oh it's thirteen. 13%. Okay. So it actually does it actually does come in one more time. Yes. So the Latias has to has to come in on a free swap essentially. So would right, you and he has to make sure Dragapult is not in. Yes. So yeah, at this point, the Melmetal we saw forever ago had substitute. Yeah. So maybe this is like a safe substitute turn for for Melmetal, or yeah. if he does have the Earthquake, he can finally reveal it. Uh, actually, the I'm trying to think the Double Iron Bash is probably not a good idea for a Slow King switch in, but you will actually. Lower its HP pretty significantly. I don't know. I would just safely substitute on this yeah, turn for, would, for essentially nothing. I would go for a sub, but yeah. But to add, so Melmetal has taken 24 kills this season. Mm -hmm. And Webberly's kill leader is Infernape at 11. Oh, wow. Okay. But in, but in saying that, so Webberly also has Necrozma on 11 as well. So, yeah. So... so... Uh, Off the moves we've seen so far from DNC, we've seen Stealth Rock and Diamond Storm. If you would assume it has Moonblast, obviously because of Latias, then that means there's one slot left. That could be like a setup move. That could be yeah. 
I think it gets earth power, right? I think it's some type of ground it. move, DNC. Yeah, so I would even so. Bet, so I would even bet that with a Mamad on the other team, that uh, earth power is is a must bring on right. Mega Dynasty. Because that's why you sub to figure out if DNC has earth power or not. But in, but in saying that, the DNC outspeeds. Oh, the crit on the second double iron bash brings the Krasma down to 18%. We'll recover thanks to the leftover, so it's back to 24%. Um, but this Necrozma is done for at this point. Like, what other utility? It's going to get one turn off here. Uh, maybe it has, like, something that can, can stop the Mel Metal. Uh, but that was a really nice play from Poplio going for the double iron bash. Really just out-predicting Weavali there, uh, seeing if he was going to stay in or not. But Weavali just, I, I guess he thought... Or he thought the Mega DNC was too valuable to try to potentially trade that turn. Yeah. Um, but yeah, now this Necrozma is really low. Yeah, so so I would almost add that he has to make a smart sack here, or he goes into Slow King, hoping that a Thunder Punch does not occur. Hmm. Yeah, because Slow King right now is at 94% HP, so it's pretty much right there. I would expect it wouldn't take too much from a resisted double iron bash, but then again, Mel Metal is a monster. And also in saying that, the Slow King is, is also badly poisoned as well. Right. But it does, and with the teleport aspect, the Mel Metal will, will, will hit first before it swaps out, so... I feel like oh, that, yeah. so I would feel like that, that tele the the teleport is now a null and void essentially. Exactly, because he'd essentially have to take like he'd essentially have to take four double iron bash hits because he'd take it on the switch in this turn, yeah. and then next turn he would have to get hit before the teleport happens. Yes, exactly. So I would say that Webberly is backed against the wall right now, and he's trying to look for a way to 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 duck those punches and. And, and we've out of the corner here. Well, I, I wish him the the best of luck. I hope I hope this Necrozma doesn't you know turn out like Nate Robinson here. Uh, iron defense no, from Necrozma. No. It creates against defense, but still not enough against this beast in oh. Mel Metal. Oh, uh, Necrozma knew it didn't really have anything. Uh, that could affect the Mel Metal. I'd love to see what the Necrozma set is after the game besides Iron Defense. Because, like, I don't know, he might as well, if he's Iron Defense, maybe he's Body Press, like, at least get, like, some damage off instead of yeah. doing zero damage and letting Mel Metal stay at full HP. Yeah, so I would even say that if, that, 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 that if he had Heat Wave, go for it. Go for, go for the Heat right. Wave. Because heat, because heat Wave would do at least 50%, roughly. I would mm -hmm. hope. I, I, I would hope anyway, with an Akrozma and Marmadol. Yeah, actually, it's doing sixty-three to seventy-nine. No, six. No, sixty-seven to seventy-nine. That's, that's what. That's what. That's what it's doing. So, so if he had the hit yeah, wave, so it's then, yeah. yeah so he probably it's, didn't have it then. I guess that'd be the only explanation. Because why would you not click it? Yeah, because yeah. So I would even bet that the necrozma was actually the weakness policy set uh-huh so uh so that's the reason why they bought the dragon pole hex set for the clefable knowing uh knowing that whether it was magic guard or unaware that the dragon pole was still gonna beat it okay so earth power just did 33 percent to corsola Depending on that calc, Corsola is currently at 31% HP. So if that was a high roll, maybe Corsola can think and, and Poppy will think, all right, I'll live the next one and I can rest up back to full HP. But if that's like a mid roll or a low roll, you can't take that risk yeah. on this turn. And then I I think like, do you, do you just go into Latias and hope he earth powers again? Because- Well, um, in saying that, uh... It, so if we think back to Quantum's previous plays, I'm gonna bet that he's gonna stay in and get lucky again. <laughs> he has to, he has just been like just like squaring up, just yes. like do it. I know I yes. know you won't, and he's been getting yeah. rewarded for it. So yeah. I don't yeah. think there's any reason for Nido King to not yes. Earth Power. 
yeah. this turn. Obviously, yes, if Latias switches in, he can he can uh he can get, you know, he can then defog the the next turn, but like if he then defogs, then you can go for Ice Beam if you have it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I um, so, I I don't know. I think this Nidor King should definitely Earth Power. The question's really up to Poplio, in my mind, on this turn. Yeah. Is do you take the risk that Earth Power did 33 last time and you're currently at 31? Like, you better know that Nidor King's stats like and, and calc that to see oh, what yeah. are your odds of living in the next earth power exactly uh and the nato king is possibly a life lob variant as well all the stones take it out oh it did just straight up knock itself and he, out and from he, and he went from the rock and he went for taunt so he could have gone for the hydro pump there and got some damage off if he hit Oh, oh wow so the one time poplio doesn't just boldly stay in is the is the turn that like it, it backfires so i think yeah. i think he's just like <laughs> I, I i think he's just like um i think he thought he got away with it too many times to go back to the well like yes. that you know what i mean yes. to like just keep trying to get away with it and yeah I guess we Ali was just sitting there like, hey, I guess it's just, you know, I'll just keep, I'll I'll just play the way you wanna the way you wanna play. Yes. But that was give him, give, crazy. Give him a test of his own medicine, basically. Yeah, because on that so on that turn, if Corsola stayed in and used rest, like so in the world where Earth Power doesn't knock out, brings Corsola down to like two percent, and then he rests up, that's what the taunt was for. Yeah. So that way he actually couldn't rest and he would be then down to like twenty ish percent because the to Corsola was toxic yeah. that and turn. It, so and, that was a really smart yeah. taunt. And and it's saying that so so with the taunt. So the taunt prevents the Hippowdon from getting rocks up, prevents the Clefable from uh, protecting wishing, prevents the Malmetal from substituting, pre uh prevents the Savelli from resting and sleep talking. So that was the best play for mm. the web there, hundred percent. I think you give up rocks at this point. I don't think you taunt because the risk of a pout on just going for earthquake knocking out Nido King is yes. is too high in my book personally. Exactly. So I think you either ice beam for damage and sack Nido King or go into the slow king here who yeah. is is obviously gonna be hurt from being badly poisoned, but it's not gonna take too much from Earthquake. I think it's way too risky to to stay in and hope uh Hapaldon goes for stealth rock instead of earthquake yes exactly because even at this point like look at we've with ali's team he doesn't actually have any pokemon weak to rocks anymore so Hapaldon doesn't necessarily need to to set stealth rocks up like you'd have like dnc doesn't care nido king doesn't care i guess it would be nice on the dragapult to counteract the leftovers but there's the earthquake okay smart move from wavali keeping Okay. Nido King alive. Now, now actually, Nido King is faster than everything except Silvalli on Poplio's side. So okay. that was huge getting rid of Latias. Yep. So my thought here does the Hippowdon have Toxic? So, so if the so if the Hippowdon does have Toxic, does he go for an EQ or does he go for the Toxic, thinking that the Dragapult is going to go for a, for a Willow? Because as because as soon as the Pulp goes for a Willow. Then the then then the clef has to come in, and has to and has to uh, heal bell and get hit by two hexes. Yeah. Yes, but adding to that, if the Nido King can come in and get up two T spikes, that is amazing. Right. So that would that would definitely be game changing. Yes, exactly. Uh, because then it basically means that the Dragon Bolt can just go for three hexes every turn, essentially. Other than when the Clefable but is but think of it this way: if you go for Toxic on a Powdown and Dragapult substitutes, that yes. like it, that's very close to yes. GG. Exactly. Because then he can just Will Wisp and Hex everything. Yes. So I think maybe you can maybe Poppyo can like run the calc if he has enough offense on Hippowdon uh, and see I would, if Earth if Earthquake Burned still breaks sub. I maybe would, that's what you can. Look for so looking at the forty one percent damage that it that it did to Dragon Ball, I would add that even with a high roll, it'd be a very low 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 roll to take out the sub with a high roll. Right. So Yeah. Yeah, so I would say this comes down to another gutsy play from Hippowdon. So I would even bet that 
Earthquake is probably the safer play here just to get some sort of damage off rather than trying to go for the toxic and dwindling down this road because as soon as because as, as soon as Dragapult gets toxic it's sub it's substitute plays mean nothing because because all the clap has to do is come in and just stall it and then in six to eight turns it's done yeah I know I know Poplio is up five Pokemon to four right now but this this turn really does feel like it's potentially like Hippowdon's last stand. Like this is such a pivotal moment if he makes a mistake. Um, and I w actually, it wouldn't even be a mistake because it could really just be like props to Weavali putting himself yeah. in this, in this position yeah. right now. Like whichever outcome on this turn could be so crucial for either of these players. Like if Hippowdon toxics into sub, if, you know, Dragapult subs, but have pound on EQs. Like, there's so many scenarios right now yeah. that I'm, I'm like, nervous. I don't, I, I actually don't know what I would even do in this situation. Yeah, exactly. So, I would even say that it comes down to a 50-50 play, but I would say that even a, probably a safer play is to go into Clef and uh, try and, try and stall out this, this Dragapult. So. Yeah, the only issue is, so Dragapult has 16 more will o -Wisps available, but he only has nine more hexes. So, and there is a hex from the Dragapult. The That's a pound on Ghost for Stealth Rocks. So he does about 25%, which gets negated thanks to the leftover. So it's really only like 19 or 18% to the pound on. And we're essentially in the exact same position we were last turn. That's why I... I really don't think Stealth Rocks is Papio's way to victory. I could right. be wrong. If Stealth Rocks puts Slow King into a damage roll for a knockout that it wouldn't have otherwise, I'll gladly eat my words. Yeah. But like, if he just did fifty percent to Dragapult that turn, that would have been huge. There's a substitute. So I would have gone for an EQ there because now, because now the Dragapult gets a free hex on the on onto the table. On no matter what, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Oh, but Ooh. he did. Cur he cursed the hex away. So now Ooh. this dragon bolt actually has to either switch out or Willowis. So if you bring in something that doesn't care about Willowis, like the Clefable, and Clefable can now Moonblast or go for a, a Wish or something like that, uh, that is <laughs> that is Corsola on the way out doing the most it possibly could, screwing over the dragon bolt. Jeez. And Corsola has the least amount of kills on quantum's team so yeah it's gonna stay that way <laughs> uh, no but no but i feel like it's course's way of just basically saying look i have failed you the whole season but not today <laughs> not today not, to, not, not today. today my master <laughs> Uh, I'd also like to say we are on turn 61, so we are officially longer than their last match this season. From That was 58 turns, and they each still have four Pokemon. But I, I feel like once the well, or like once you break through the dam of like those first couple Pokemon getting knocked out, I think these other yep. knockouts are going to happen a lot quicker because there's not as much defensive pivoting that can really happen. Uh, and is it true that Cursed Body activates 100% of the time? I so don't think it's a hundred percent. Let me quickly look it up because I think it's just a meme that he's typed in the chat there. I, I think, yeah, I think he's joking around uh, saying it yes, happens every time. Because, yeah, because it is a thirty percent chance, and that is the reason right. why that it's been added. Uh, it is the same as Scold. So, excuse my lack of Pokemon knowledge. I am a Pokemon noob. Yeah. But, yes. but, no, it's fine. I, I was just saying, I know it's not 100%, but it feels like 100 So, like, just like Scald, like, it's only 30% yeah. chance to get burned, but it sure feels like it burns a lot yeah. more than 30%. And then it's exactly the same as a uh, Hurricane, where it's 70%, but it, uh, but, uh, but it hits once out of five times. <laughs> yeah, right? Get a love Oh, man. I did love though, like I got destroyed by uh by Squid once when he had Mega Charizard Y, and like the only KO I got that whole game was from a hurricane in oh. the sun. Like <laughs> I lost like five zero, but it was off of a fifty yeah. percent hit, and I was like, you know what? I'll take it. I'll I'll, I'll take my one KO yeah. added to yeah. my team. Okay, so does uh, so does an Eddie King? So we're basically back at the same stormate as we were a, a few turns ago. 
Because what is the native king? I don't know. I feel like there was nothing wrong with Dragapult going for Will O Wisp that turn. The only thing that would have been a problem was if Clefable switched in, who was already Will O Wisp. Um, yeah. But because now at this point, Nido King, like you have, you essentially have one hit left in you because you're not going to taunt, right? You're not going to taunt the Hippowdon. So if you have Ice Beam, you go for it. Yeah. Um, but then Nido King gets knocked out to to Earthquake. So. Yes, exactly. So <clears throat> yeah. So one. So yeah, it's just it's just a tough situation they're both in because they're because they're both now four four with I would say roughly the same amount of HP on both teams. Mm-hmm. But the problem, but the problem is that Clefable has has the wish option, which we right where Wivali doesn't. Yes, which I would even add that gives Poplio the advantage here. He also has the rest on Silvalli and potentially on Hippowdon because we've only seen Hippowdon's two moves. So yes. Poplio has ways of recovering HP that Wivali really doesn't. Except for like Slow King's, um, you know, regenerator. Besides that, yep. he doesn't actually have ways of recovering. Yep. So I would say the safe play here for Slow King is to go for a scold if it has it, because once it gets up that scold, it's uh, it can burn the Savali or the Nonmetal or even the Hippowdon, and just right. uh, just do the best it can. And supposedly, and supposedly, Scold hits a hundred percent of the time. So, <laughs> well, burns, it burns. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the only I think Scald is definitely the play if he has it instead of Future Sight because then he can just switch to Valley in to eat the Future Sight. Although you can actually like try to play around that, right? Yes. Like, um, say you Future Sight and then next turn bring in uh, Deancy to try to force out that Silvalli, and then like you put yourself in a in a spot where something's going to have to take massive yes. damage from DNC. Like, so maybe you do actually do but, some suboptimal yeah. game decisions and actually but, to put yourself in a better spot. But to add to that also, so if the slow King goes for future site and then if the Hippowdon stays in and then the DNC comes in next turn, teleports. Okay. So teleport essentially negates all that 28% earthquake did because he's going to recover a third of his HP here. Yeah. So he'll be around maybe like 55 ish, 60 ish percent. He should get back 33%. So he should be at 68, 69%. Six, 60, oh, wow. So even higher than I thought. Okay. I was thinking around 60, but yeah, my math is off right now. I'm not able to, to think so well. Yeah, this, <laughs> this game's been going on too long. Don't blame it, um, the game's going on for 57 minutes currently so far. <laughs> Yeah, this is. I mean, this is this is what you want out of a finals. You do want to see yes. uh, an epic battle back and forth, and it's yes. close too. You know, I just I just wonder, like, if I was in the Galar region right now, and like I was watching this match, like, if I would have like <laughs> went to go get popcorn at the concession stands or something. You know what I mean? I would have walked out after after after, <laughs> after twenty minutes. I would have gone, yeah, guys, I'm done. <laughs> done for me. See you later. Yeah. Yeah, dig and get some cotton candy. Go get, you know, get something. I'll be, I'll be back. That's what I would have done if I was, you know, in the stadium and in, in uh, the gallery region watching this match. Just the, just the one, just the one thing. I'm glad that this match is played on Showdown and not Wi-Fi because after 20 minutes, I literally do mm-hmm. not know who would have won. I have actually no idea. It, well, it would have been six to six at that point. Yes, yes, exactly. But so it's so a HP. So, I so would it would have been HP. So I would have said and Poplio, I would assume I, think, I would assume Poplio would have won because Infernape was at yes. like five percent for a yeah. long time. Yeah. So, uh, but okay. So he goes hex. Poplio is just winning all of these mind games. All of these 50 50 turns are going Poplio's way right now. Clefable is able to freely hex this turn, uh, excuse me, hex duh, uh, <laughs> wish this turn, and, and he. He switches out into the Nido King. He went for Heal Bell 2 over Wish. That gets rid of the burns on his team. Nido King is now going to have to Sludge Bomb, but Mel Metal can switch into that Sludge Bomb. Or also, Hippowdon doesn't care about Sludge Bomb either. So after I felt, I felt like the last two turns just like went back and forth between both of the trainers, like six different directions. Yeah. Of like who had the advantage. I still don't know who has it. Yes. Yeah, Half like ah, uh, these are so uh, so. These two have proven that they deserve to be here right now. Absolutely. 
Like, you cannot deny that these two do not deserve to be here because oh, they they are playing the best they can and 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 although it is long and although it is a long battle, it is it is proven to be an amazing battle at that. Earth power takes it. Ooh. Oh, he, he takes the earth power. Doesn't go for sludge bomb. Moonblast also not getting the KO. Now it actually doesn't matter. Earth power will Damn. knock it out no matter what. So Needle King is at a point that it's low enough anyway, where any attack will will knock it out. So yes. like I guess I understand him with I understand what Will Valley was going for with that with that prediction, but like. Oh, you just wonder if he sludge bombed and like saved thirty percent of his health, but it, yeah. it really shouldn't be too big of a deal. But to add to that, also, uh, so Nita King outspeeds the hip out on the mild metal. Uh, so basically, all he has to do is swap out. Had the Savelli die from the Dianzi, mm -hmm. so the Dianzi here can technically win it if it has Earth Power. Right, because he can Earth Power the Mel Metal. Why ooh, does ne uh, okay does Nido King go for an uh, go for an Earth Power here? And we know it doesn't have Ice Beam because there's Taunt Taunt and Toxic Spikes in the yes. in the four slot in the but, fourth slot. So. so so as soon as the Dragon Ball burns the whole team, Hex essentially wins. Right, because there's no heal bell left. Yes, so that so that Clef play it was huge. The problem is you can't you can't get Dragon Ball in safely. I think you have to stack Nido King. Yes. Okay. Okay. Understand. All right. So here, so here's how it works. If you have Earth Power on Deancey, you stack Nido. If you don't, you have to save him. So yes. like the process. If you do have Earth Power, then you don't need Nido King anymore. And what you need is Deancey or Dragon Ball to lower everything else. But if you don't have it, then you literally have no way. Of dealing with the uh, Mel Metal, and on this turn specifically, you can't switch Dragon Ball in for free no. because the Powdown's just going to earthquake. So you're yeah. going to take like forty percent for nothing. So I would even add that he goes into the Slow King here. Slow King scolds, sacks, sacks the Slow King, goes into the Dragon Ball, goes for a Willow, or no, no, goes for a sub Willow, then heads mm. the way essentially. Because yeah, it's just it's just tough. This is so this is so scary because like we volley has the forty three Pokemon advantage, but it still feels even. Oh, it, it all it all it comes down to the DNC set. Yes, pretty much. And it also also down... Popio didn't bring a Mega. No, he did not. Popio's I don't I don't think he drafted a Mega actually because I really yeah because... I didn't even know you could do that <laughs> uh, because I had the option. So let me look at his team here quickly. Uh, no, he did not draft a Mega at all. Uh, yes, goes into Slow King and the swap. Ooh, now, does the Slow King go for a Scold here? Trying to get the burn before the Melmetal can sub. No, sub Substitute up. on Melmetal. Future Sight, though, from Slow King! So, so that's gonna, that's gonna take two turns, and Melmetal is, uh, I don't think... Will Future Sight not uh, get rid of the substitute? Double Iron 100%, Bash bringing 100%. Slow King down really low on this turn, but the slack off from Slow Ooh. King. And now, next turn, next turn, the Future Sight is going to come out. So, does Mel Metal have to switch out here uh, into the Sil Valley to eat the Future Sight? And then that gives Slow, Slow King the teleport priority okay. into Dragapult but next to turn. Add to that, does Slow King go for a Toxic here for free? So, I don't think I don't think you can risk it because Mel Metal might stay in because yes, Future Sight might not break the sub. Because if the Mel Metal stays in, uh, two turns of double Iron Bash will take down the Slow King with with uh, Slack Off. So does Slow King go for a Slack Off here to play safe and then hope that the Savali doesn't kill it next turn and go for a Toxic? Because as soon as the Toxic comes out, you're almost free to go into Diancy, Moonblast. Ooh. Double Iron Bash into Slow King bridges down to 23%. As he goes for Slack Off again, Future Sight is Doesn't resisted into the it. sub and it does not break it. So now Slow King is going to have to take another turn uh, to to attack it here. I think Slow King kind of like misplayed there and has done its job. And I I guess he just scald and, and get rid of this really annoying substitute. I don't yeah. know what else you can do. 
double iron bash from the slow king brings it down low again and that is a future sight knowing slow king oh i was gonna say does slow king have one more turn left and the answer is no so now the mel metal is still behind its substitute here those are like critical three or four turns there from the yeah. future sites not being able to knock out or get rid of the sub in front of the mel metal that's huge because now he has to hex and dragon bolt's gonna go down to double iron bash so i would even add that the dianty does not have earth power right because you would then go into Nether King, get the kill, then go into Dianty and Earth Power. You you absolutely have to sack Dragon Ball here and yeah. get rid of this sub. and get get rid of this sub. Yeah, so oh yeah, so we could sack the Dragon Ball, get rid of the sub, go into Nato King, try and force an attack to damage as much as he can, then have the Dianty come in and hope the Dianty has has Earth Power on it. Hex, hex obviously crits, crit crit of metal. course onto the thunder substitute wave. and thunder wave on the metal on the metal metal instead of the double iron Ooh. bash which i would assume would have knocked out right i think the only reason you don't click it is he only has two double iron bashes left so he has to be careful because he has to save one for dnc yeah. uh but like what is metal metal's fourth move It can't just be double iron. He can't have one attack. And he switches Silvali out on the, on the blue. With snap. Finally misses. Oh, the future site goes into the dark type. So perfect turn from Silvali there. I actually think I think the Mel Metal switched out there because even though Future Sight is resisted, let's say it does twenty percent, maybe yeah. that puts it in range of of Nido King's Earth but Power. Also, so I guess I understand. The yeah, but also, that, but if the Willow had have occurred on the Mel Metal, that is then hindering it a lot. True, true, true. So I would say. Yeah, so that was a smart switch. Yes, a smart, smart switch because the Savali can go for a. Uh, and well, now Savali is faster than Dragapult because of the par uh, paralysis. So I think Poplio, I don't okay. want to speak too soon, okay. Jetman, but Poplio might have found a win. He might, but I'm, I also want to add that Savali is no speed because of the rest set. I would say that it is a bulky variant. Well, okay, but you have to think of then, how, like maybe Savali could have enough speed to outspeed paralyzed like max speed Dragapult, you know what I mean? Good, yep. Okay. Because Dragapult speed is it's halved right now. Yes, it is. So let me. So uh, how much would Savali need? A max speed. A... And you'd assume Dragapult's not even max speed because of this bulky leftover set. You know yeah, what I mean? Uh, so a. Ooh, so. A non-speed Savali still at speed, a max speed paralyzed Dragapult. Exactly. See, so that was that was his win con. Dude, the Thunder Wave Mel Metal tech might win him an LDL championship. That's insane. Jeez. Who would have thought? But T Wave Mel Metal. Oh. <laughs> I never out of all the times I've played Mel Metal, I never would have imagined to like not just like offensively click with him you know what i mean yeah. <laughs> like to hit, hit that t wave dnt comes in yep. takes stealth rocks uh, you I, turn from savali yeah. into the mel metal here I, he Does better go into the mel metal i hope he goes into the mel metal thank god t -wave, t, -wave, t wave t wave come on do it do it t wave all right we've only seen DN two of dnt's four moves earth power is not going to and uh, oh, oh, DNC sacks itself bell. for Heal Bell. Now Nido King comes out and he can Earth Power whatever he wants. Uh, the Heal Bell was there to get rid of the paralysis on Dragapult. So Wivali sees that Dragapult is his win con here. Dragapult needs to win through Will O Wisp and Hex. This Sil Valley, if it switches in, is I don't think, what is it? It's at, oh, it's at. Was it? it's at forty one percent, so Savali's not going to be able to take the Stealth Rocks and an Earth Power. No. Hit Powdon obviously would take Stealth Rocks and Earth Power. Would it take two Earth Powers? I'm I'm not too sure. Um, but if you can, if you can get if Mel Metal survives Earth Power, so I think I'm you getting, just you just win here. So I'm so what so 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 the Nether King we've seen what uh, we've seen Earth Power, uh, Sludge Wave, Toxic Spikes, Sludge, Sludge Wave, Spike. and Taunt. 
So we, oh, so I would even say that because an earth power basically kills the hip out on from here with rocks. But if, but I'd that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he can't. So he can take one rocks and earth power on a switch, but he can't take a second one. Yeah. So I would even add that this is so if that he has to sack the hip out on here, go into Savali. Savali takes out the Nido King, then Dragapult has to somehow. So I would say he sacks Mel Metal or or hip out on here, then goes into Savali. Then the then the Savali. I don't even think it's a sack. Do you think Mel Metal straight up gets one shot at 100 HP? Uh, with a life orbed. With a with 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 a life orb sheer forced earth power, yes, hundred percent. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, hundred percent. I guess its special defense is that bad, huh? It's sixty-five base. Yeah. So yeah, so I so I would even add that he has to sack my metal or hip out on here, and then go into Savali, and then the Savali should be able to win it from here, because I don't think this because I don't think a hex, oh unless uh, unless he burns a Savali. If he can burn the Sabali with with the Dragon Ball and then have the multi attack not kill somehow, then then that's the way that he can win. But I really don't like. I think it's Quantum's game to lose here by, by a mile. Yeah, I I agree. I think he's in the spot right now. And remember, Dragapult only has six hexes left, and after that, it's just gonna essentially struggle. Uh, because it doesn't have any attacks, so he's just gonna have to keep clicking disable and, and woe wisp at that point. So if Poplio or if Quantum Actually, can handle this Nido King, ooh, then he just has to outlive six hexes from Dragapult. Okay, problem is so the so the Sabelli wins. Because all the Sabelli has to do is click rest that at that first turn that it's uh that it's right. you know, the Dragapult. And then it and then it basically stalls the Dragapult out. Because the Dragapult is doing like twenty but like thirty percent to it, with uh, with damage. So basically, the Sabali can take two hits, go for sleep talk, hopefully get a multi attack in those sleep talks, then rest again, then go for sleep talk again. So, so might be too early, too early to announce, but I'm gonna announce that Poplio is gonna be a winner. Takes it out, yeah. Okay, Earth Power does one does one shot the Bruce. the Mel Metal, so he had to sack it there. Why? It's two Pokemon to two. Hapaldon switching in here now for free. Now Needle King can't knock it out, so oh. Hapaldon has can Earthquake no matter what. Stealth Rocks onto Dragapult. Earthquake brings it down to nine percent, fifteen percent after leftovers. Not enough for a substitute. Hapaldon switches out into Sil Valley, and Dragapult the... goes for the disable, calling Dude. calling that he was going to Earthquake there. So that was a, a really good turn. Okay. Him, but do, does Hex do twenty nine percent to a resisted Silvalli? No. I don't think it does. No. So if Silvalli just rests this turn, if it lives, if it lives the Hex, then oh. um, then that to... will then rest up to a hundred percent, and then and then secure the game. So I would even add that Silvalli is a bulky variant because why would he not go in on the Nidoking? King? Do you have a rest? Multi attack. Game. Nido King with all the switching in. Multi attack. That's it. Dragon Ball down to the last nine percent. Poplio has found himself in what you can argue oh. a, a a a near unlosable situation. As long as he doesn't get crit by Hex right now, that's the only thing I can I can imagine. Yep. So, uh, so apparently Web was supposed to cancel a move due to a misclick. I'm gonna assume. Yeah, he meant to click. He he, he clicked disable and went to cancel it, and it, it went too fast, so he was not able to Take disable it. Hex percent. does not get the knockout. U turn the from the Savali and Poplio or Quantum and the Ponitas are going to take the Lonely Draft League flex. Showdown League Championship. That's a huge victory. That is a flex. Savali so, so, so U turns with a flex to kill. Wow. Oh, but that was that was a slow match, but that turned out to be per oh not per that turn, that turned out that turned out to be a very interesting ending for sure. Yeah, that was <laughs> that's probably one of the longest matches I've ever cast at this point, especially for you know the yeah. format where we're on, which usually you can have matches go pretty fast. Uh, so I uh, <laughs> I think that was a really fun match. Yeah. It was a it was definitely slow. 81 turns is a, is a long time to play some Pokemon, um, but that was still really fun nonetheless. It is for sure. So, uh, I will also add that uh, 
Quantum will win uh, $20. Weatherly will win $10 for this match. There you go. Yes, uh, and then uh, and then the regular season and then the regular season champ, which turned which has turned out to be regular season champ was uh, was Star Wolf in the Greek Charizards. He will win five dollars. And uh, the MVP, which was Malmetal, will will win five dollars also. And then Battle of the I hope, I hope yeah. Malmetal doesn't spend it all in one place. And then. And then battle of the season, which has to be voted on by the by by, by the server, will will win mm-hmm. five dollars as well. So I would even add that this. This is definitely up there, right? Yes, exactly. In contention. Yes. So, Quantum can possibly win thirty dollars out of this season. But with that being that's that's yeah. pretty nice, yeah. So yeah, so yeah, so please make sure you join the Lens League server because we will be having sign up start in January for our next season. So uh, yeah, do you have anything else to add? No, dude, that was so that was a lot of fun to cast. Thank you, thank you, Jam Man, for letting me be here with you and, and casting it back and forth. It's it's nice to like have a fresh perspective because to be honest i haven't really followed our our showdown division too much i maybe watched a couple of games throughout the season but i haven't really been locked into yeah. our ldl division there um so like so like being like fresh-minded and not having the like having a new perspective to these two guys and you filling in with like the backstory and everything this was like this was a very it's very entertaining and enjoyable like five hours i think it was five hours long right i'm pretty sure yeah. it's like it's like four in the morning right now yeah uh... <laughs> yeah 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 so totally so uh yeah so one thing we'll add so this will come out on the thursday uh ldl d max will will be out tomorrow so please check it out and then j max will will occur on the saturday so uh i know so i know d max has happened i did not watch that live due to me being busy but i know that zem has so he knows all the spoilers but I'm oh, sure, yeah. but I am sure that but I'm sure that it came down to a good match because it was played on LAN. So there was no real time issues with there. But uh, with that being said, this I know personally myself, this has been your boy from Land Down Under. This is Zeminon, thanks for having me. Everyone make sure you subscribe and join the Lonely Draft League. It's we have a lot of fun here. Yes, we have a lot of memes and tantrums. So <laughs> Or just mainly me. But uh, with that being said, uh I wish you all a safe night or a safe day or a safe week, depending on how long this match has, uh, is recorded for. <laughs> but uh, make sure you tune in tomorrow for the LDL D Max, and I will see you all later. Peace. <laughs>